Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 and today I will show you how you can hard reset this device through recovery mode. Now, that being said, uh, this will allow you to get rid of a screen lock and uh, that's about the only thing that it will allow you to do. So if you don't know your screen lock, for some reason maybe you set it up and forgot it or maybe your child set it up. Uh, this will let you get rid of it but um, that being said all your data will be lost obviously it's a factory reset and number two if you are logged into a google account or samsung account you will need to verify one of them throughout the setup process now the reason i'm mentioning this is because if you don't know them and you don't know your screen lock for uh, very reasonable reasons obviously uh, then uh, your device basically becomes a paperweight and uh, at the time of recording this, I have no way that I know of of bypassing this or removing it. So yeah, typically I'll be recording that if there is a method later on down the line uh, that I know of, I might record it. Uh, but like I'm saying right now, there isn't one. So uh, I'm mentioning this, people won't be caught off guard when they are trying to set up their device and they can't finish it up because they need to provide the uh, account or screen lock. Now, with that being said, we can now progress. Now for this, we will need a cable that is plugged into your computer. So have it just ready right here. And if you have a screen lock, I don't, but I'm just gonna progress from the lock screen as though I would. So you won't be able to turn off the device normally. Uh, that's normal. Uh, it will tell you that you need to provide a screen lock to do so. But there is a, side, a way to basically circumvent this because, you know, uh, Samsung and their infinite wisdom knows how to annoy the living hell out of you, but not how to actually provide you with valuable features. So uh, what you need to do is hold your power button and volume down at the same time. You do also want to interact with the display so it doesn't time out. Once the screen turns off, which is right about now, there we go. You want to plug it in and hold power key and volume up instead. In a moment, you will see a Samsung logo. After like a second or so, you will see then additionally Galaxy written under it. When you do, let go of the power button, but keep holding volume up. So there is a Samsung and Galaxy. Like I said, let go of the power button. And this will then boot us into recovery mode. Additionally, we can also get rid of the cable. It was only needed to boot us into here, the recovery mode. So once in the recovery mode, you will need to use volume buttons, either up or down, to navigate up or down. I'm going to start pressing volume down in order to select wipe data, factory reset, confirm it with the power button, then select factory data reset, again confirm that. It goes pretty quickly, as you can see, data wipe complete. So reboot system now will be selected by default, so I just press power button once again to confirm it. And this will initiate a reboot and continue the factory reset of the device in the background. This will take about a minute to finish up and once it's completed, we'll be presented with Android setup screen. So I'll be back once that is visible for me. And as you can see, the process is now finished and you can set up your device however you like. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.